Welcome to our community. Susie Thomas with you this morning, and we're visiting with Colin Floyd, who is Director of Marketing and Public Relations for the Canton Regional Chamber of Commerce. Good morning. Good morning. Lots of fun things going on this time of year. How are you holding up, Colin? We are very, very busy at the Chamber, but we are thrilled to be able to bring some exciting events to the people of Canton. And what's so fun is we're talking about free events. Oh, absolutely. Um, We do a mix of paid and free events throughout the year, and we've got a free one coming up that is great for the whole family. This is something that uh, I just love. We look forward to this every year. It's light up downtown. Lots of cities do it, but nobody does it like Canton. Uh, Let's unpack it. Tell us what's going on this year for light up downtown. When? It's tonight, isn't it? It is tonight. Uh, December 1st, tonight, uh, 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the heart of downtown Canton. Really, um, the whole event is centered around Market Square and Market Avenue, and it's 14 blocks of family fun going up and down uh, Market Avenue from 6th Street uh, North to 6th Street South. And it's packed, isn't it? It's not, there's no dead space at all. There's just something going on on every block. Yeah, absolutely. Every block, um, again, 14 blocks. um, The vendors open their uh, shop doors. Uh, You'll find, uh, you don't, well, you don't really know what you'll find inside, except that it's, it's good, fun things for the family. So you might find cookies in one venue. You might find um, a singer or dance troupe in another venue, uh, free popcorn, hot chocolate, just, Again, um, lots of festive fun. What age groups, uh, what ages of children, and how old does a child need to be that would still enjoy this? We really have kids, obviously, all the way from, you know, the the toddlers uh, love seeing Santa Claus, and they love seeing Christopher Poppinkins, who also makes um, a big appearance in our stage show. Um, but really, we see kids all the way up through high school, and, and honestly, adults enjoy it, too. I have to say, um, you know, besides the fact that I work the event, but I love bringing my kids down, too, and just seeing the joy on their faces. So... Um, we really do say it's it's fun for all ages. It just makes you happy. The city looks great. Um, it's really lit up beautifully. And um, it's great family fun. This has been going on how long now? This I think we're in our 26th year. Oh, that's unbelievable. And it's really just grown over time. Um, you know, I, I w- didn't live here 26 years ago, but from what I understand, it was just, you know, a handful of vendors opening up their doors. And over time, um, because of the passion of the people who come back year after year, it's really grown. Um, so now, um, you know, we have dozens of uh, stores that open their doors. We have um, dozens of singers and dance troops. We have um, a stage show, uh, which we've had the past uh, several years. And, uh, you know, uh, we're ex- fireworks. So we're excited to see where it goes from here. That, but it really is fun. And I think um, let's Let's focus on that stage show because that was a game changer. And I remember that was when Janet Creighton was the mayor and she said, oh, we've got to do this bigger and came in with, uh, yeah, a stage show and fireworks, which made everybody up their game a little bit. So what can we look forward to? When does that get started? And where's a good place to stand so that you see everything going on? Okay, so the stage show is at Market Square, which is um, at Market Avenue. That's the green space at Market Avenue and 3rd Street North. And uh, that will begin at 530 sharp. So uh, don't be late. <laughs> it starts, it <laughs> you know, starts, it starts right they at will start and, without you. And it gets very, very busy. So all of um, the green space there at Market Square is full of... Of, of families. And how many people are we talking about standing around Market Square? I mean, we have thousands of people who attend the event. It's it's Will huge. we be able to see? Yeah, you can see it. The, okay. the stage is high, so you can definitely see. Um, but yeah, it's it's very full. And there's, you know, lots of people who are around the show kind of coming in and out, um, doing their own thing. So lots of fun. But that starts at 530. There's a pre-show from 530 to 545. And um, this year, there will be some service dogs there oh. from 
from Altman Hospital and from Akron Children's Hospital uh, dressed up in some sort of Christmas character. Oh, what will they do? So, um, they're going to come on stage and be introduced um, to the audience. And um, the kids just love to see the service dogs. And when they're dressed up, you know, it's and they super are adorable. Heroes. They really are heroes. Absolutely. Oh, so fun. All so, right. What Then what? Okay. So then at 545 until 630 is our stage show. And uh, that is called uh, Twas the Night Before a Canton Christmas. So <laughs> it's a Canton twist on Twas the Night Before Christmas. And during the show, um, we have a couple of dance troops. We've got um, the Candy Apple uh, dancers. We've got the Ca- Canton South uh, dancers. We've got the Enrichment Drumline, which I don't know oh, if you've heard them, but yes. they are phenomenal. And uh, Betty Smith, who actually just won um, one of our Community Salute Awards, uh, had just it's a phenomenal group um yes, these are underprivileged familiar. kids who um she's kind of taken under her wing to teach them um you know the power of music mm-hmm. so they will be part of the show as well um and then we have the mckinley singers Great. who who are there too so um it's so much fun and that's a 45 minute show it uh a christopher poppinkins is part of the show as well and then it ends with Santa Claus coming on stage and counting down to the fireworks. And for somebody who has been living under a rock and has no idea who Christopher Popkins is, and I don't know if I said it right, but remind us, he's a very special elf. Yes, yes he is um, every child's favorite elf. I believe that's, <laughs> but uh, he has his own uh, book or line of books at this point. And, uh, Written by a local author, I believe. Okay. Yeah, so that adds another Canton twist yes, to it. Yes, yes. Um, and he usually uh, does some photo ops afterwards, I have to say, um, as does Santa Claus. So, um, yeah, it's it's uh, Christopher's been coming for a while now, and um, he's always a crowd favorite. And then fireworks after all of this? I mean, my goodness. Yes, and we actually have extended fireworks this year. Um, it's good for the people who attend Light Up, not so good for the people who came to one of our earlier events. But um, we've had actually a summer event that's been rained out two years in a row. So um, we Some leftover fireworks. So we have extended fireworks. <laughs> yeah. So it's That's gonna be awesome. a spectacular show. Um, Don't miss that. No, I mean you know I'm talking good solid fireworks. We're show. getting Fourth of July and Hall of Fame and Christmas all rolled all into rolled one. All rolled into one. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Okay. And so those will start at about what time? Six thirty. Okay. Yeah, I would expect those to go till probably about 6.45. And then so. all of that happens, and then you begin what used to be in the day, Light Up Canton. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, after all of that, um, that's when the stores open their doors, and um, that's when you see people just strolling up and down Market Avenue. And, you know, it's kind of, it almost has a nostalgic feel um, to the days where the only place you could shop would be in downtown and so um, it's great. It just warms my heart. It literally warms my heart to see the families walking up and down the street, um, drinking hot cocoa and eating cookies and, and just, you know, having a really good family friendly, um, healthy time out. Mm-hmm. So at no charge, at no charge. That's amazing. And now this is not necessarily designed specifically for families who would not be able to afford to do other fun things at Christmas. Everybody comes to this, right? This is a you all come thing. That's true. We have um, a true diversity of people who come to the event. And that's one thing that I think is really beautiful about it. Um, we have families who come down from North Canton and from Jackson, and they just want to have a fun night out with their families. We also serve um, underprivileged families as well. So, um, you know, for some of them, um, this is their Christmas, and um, this is where they can get hat, hats and mittens uh, donated to them at absolutely no charge. So it's a true mix. Mm, it's wonderful. Well, let's unpack it. Uh, let's take a few minutes and give us a tour. Let's go up and down Market Avenue at some of the special events that are taking place. All right. Well, um, again, it it spans from about 6th Street uh, North and Market Avenue. So that would be up um, by Basil, the Canton Palace Theater, the uh, library, and then it goes all the way to 6th. Uh, Street South and Market, 
uh, which is actually down by WHBC and Shiloh. Uh, I want to say it's Shiloh Baptist Church. Mm-hmm. So uh, you're talking a lot of blocks, and I can kind of start at the north end and, and go southward. Let's so, do that. Let's take a tour. Okay. Well, if you start at the north end, there's um, the Stark County Library. Um, that's actually, and I'm, excuse me, that's in the 700 block of Market. And um, after the show, Santa Claus will be there. Whoa. So that's always a big attraction. Absolutely. And a lot of people head up there right away. Um, south of that um, is the Canton Palace Theater. And um, it's always fun to go in there because they have their stage, obviously, and um, they have a couple of dance troops and a singing troupe who afterwards you can see them perform on stage at the palace. Oh, how cool. So people from the stage show then are going to go to the palace theater? Uh, some do. And then they mm-hmm. also have their own entertainment Oh my as goodness. well. So it's kind of fun because you can pop in at any time during the night and you can see someone performing. So it's not like they're showing a Christmas movie that you've got to get there at a certain time. They'll have lots of ongoing small small bites of entertainment yeah. that you can pop in, see, and continue to move along. Absolutely. And the Palace Theater, just take a minute to talk about how incredible that is. Well, yeah. I mean, if you haven't been to the Palace, um, it's um, you know an incredibly historic, gorgeous uh, relic. Um, I believe at one time um, that someone was going to tear it down and, and it was saved. Um, and I'm so glad it was because it's it's just spectacular. Um, there's a, kind of a starry sky that is uh, projected onto the ceiling and it's just a real treat. And um, it kind of has that feel of, of a theater in a large city. So mm-hmm. um, definitely worth checking out and uh, Mm, and absolutely. seeing that and the cool organ. All right, let's uh, let's continue on our way. All right. Well, again, for the next uh, few blocks heading south toward Market Square, um, we have uh, lots of fun things going on. We've got uh, the United Way of Greater Stark County. I believe they are doing some kids crafts. Nice. Um, Yes, you can pop in. And I should say that um, a lot of the places along the route um, do have make and take art for the kids. So, you know, besides you don't have to worry if you don't want them to have, you know, 14 cookies. (laughs) Um, There are other things for them to do as well. So they can sit down, um, do a Christmas craft, and then take it with them. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, We've got the um, Canton uh, Health Department. Um, They're in the 400 block of Market, and uh, they usually do complimentary popcorn. And I believe that they are planning to do do that again tonight. Um, Then we have Market Square, and that's just kind of a general hub of activity, um, You know, because that's where the stage show is. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a general gathering place. Um, As you continue to head south, you're going to next uh, run into uh, the Chamber of Commerce. And uh, we will have an information booth there and some souvenirs for sale as well. So that's always... What kinds of souvenirs? We usually do fun things for the kids, like um, we bring out some glow sticks and some nice. glow tiaras and just fun things for the little <laughs> kids. And um, it's great because it's obviously very dark at that point. And then, um, you know, you just see kind of different things glowing up and down Market Avenue. It's great. So. And a good way to keep track of the kids tonight, too. Just yes, light them up. Absolutely. Light them up. <laughs> light them up. Um, then if you keep going south, and again, I'm, I'm not uh, hitting on every single thing, but um, as you continue to go south, you're going to hit Central Plaza. And in Central Plaza, that's um, just kind of a, an area of Market Avenue where it widens a little bit. And um, if you're familiar, there's some permanent um, outdoor seating for mm-hmm. people to eat lunch and that kind of thing. Well, Project Rebuild is is right there as well. And they have some like wooden cutouts that they've made um, that are great for photo ops um, with the kids. So be sure to stop there. They've done a gingerbread house in the past. They've done some oversized ornaments, and it's just great to get your family um, pictures in front of in front of whatever they creation they come up with. So much fun. We have to take a break right there. We're visiting with Colin Floyd. Um, she's Director of Marketing and Public Relations for the Canton Regional Chamber of Commerce. Light Up Downtown taking place tonight in Canton, Ohio. You're listening to our community.